From 2D to 3D artists, references are one of those things that guides how we get to create. From making understandable characters, all the way to building amazing scenes, landscape, and even beautiful dresses, references, guides, and teaches us how to get better. And today we're going to be taking a look at Pure Ref as version 2 is now available, and this comes with a truckload of improvements that will get you going. And for those who like to get this, all you need to do is go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download Pure Ref. Pure Ref version 2 is currently available for both Windows, Mac, and also Linux. They now have a tier for both small and big business. And for personal or indie use, all you need to do is come right here and go all the way down and download it. You can choose to donate to this cause or you can simply download this totally for free. Now once you download this and launch PRF, this is basically what you get. The UI now looks a bit more refreshed. If you simply take your mouse all the way up, we now have the pin that specifies the always on top on and off. Previously, this was done by simply doing the right click, going over to mode and doing that right over here. Now before we get into the new features that are now available with PureRef, I'd like to get your attention to something we've talked about on the channel before and it is called the Big Reference Database. This I consider as the world's biggest art reference library of all time, as this consists of thousands and thousands of references all packed into one. This is about 4 point something gig of data, so just in case you like to get it, you can simply take a look at the link in the description and get this. And once you download this, what you find here are three major folders. These are zip files by the way, so you definitely need to unzip them to work with them, and they include art of, and inside of the art of, you find lots of art of stuff. So if you're looking for the art of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, you'll find it there, Spirited Away, the Sword of a Stranger, all of these are right here. Zootopia is also right here, so just in case you like to see more stuff about that, maybe you like to see the art of Zootopia, you can find that there. If you go all the way back, there's also the animation stuff that deals with tons and tons of animation, frame by frame animation, and you've also got character design that includes tons of characters, from anatomy to clothes to creature, all the way down to poses, down to magazines, layout, illustrations, tutorials. All of these are right here and the reason why i'm mentioning this again on the channel is because since we're talking about something that is related to references you may want to grab these references as they are currently available totally for free again link to this is going to be in the description back to purf let's talk about some cool stuff that you can now do remember the reference tool i talked about yep so right now if you simply go over to the animation section you can now import frame by frame animations into purf say for example we have all of these we can grab drag drop and this is going to load it in let's actually go ahead and make sure we have this set to always on top once you drop this this starts playing back the animation right here you want to load something more of course you can you can right click go all the way down to where you have open and you can open the images that you want so i'm simply going to back off a bit and go all the way back and go back to animation select another animation clip click on that and then this starts playing as well to all of these animations that are playing back you can stop you can move one frame forward you can move one frame backwards. So let's simply zoom in so you guys can see that. So we can grab all of this and then we can move a frame backward, we can move a frame forward, and we can play back to preview what the animation looks like. You can group stuff. So previously, the only things you could really do with PureRef was to select a few things and then you can go over to arrange and arrange them just the way you think is best. But at this point, you can grab everything and you can simply hit Ctrl and G on the keyboard and there you have it. It is now grouped. Once you group them, you have the lock group, which simply locks this group and of course you can unlock that. And you also have another background tool that you can use to change the background of the group that you've just done. If we move this over to a section like that, we can also go in and do the same thing right here. So we can now group multiple objects however we want to ungroup you need to hold on Control shift and g on the keyboard and now that we have it ungrouped we can simply go in and hit Control and n on the keyboard and with that we can type a reference so we can call this ref1 and that is going to be our first reference so we can make that bold we can change the font that we have we can change the font size that we have as well actually let's go ahead and increase that and once we're comfortable with that we can simply select position that where we want it to be we can go in select every single thing and now we can group other things that you can do in terms of annotation is you can now literally draw right here and to draw is as easy as hitting ctrl and d on the keyboard and now you have your annotation tools which you can use to do some drawing so maybe we would like to position a pointer somewhere like there or maybe we would like to just simply point somewhere like here we can do all of that. So I can select these anatomy, drag and drop them there, and you notice that we have those, and I can select these other ones, and I can drag and drop them there. Now that we have this, if I go in and I hit Ctrl and J on the keyboard, 
you now see that we've got hierarchy. So we can actually group this and also select these other one and group it. And then you notice that we've got this hierarchy. But what if, just what if, I would like this group to exist under this other one? Of course we can have them both selected, move that over to a section like that. Let's zoom right in and we can regroup them. And that way we have it. But what if I would like these to leave under this other one? You can now do that absolutely. You can select that and plug this directly underneath it. And so you've just got one group to deal with. And then inside of this group, you now have these other group. One other thing which is very interesting, if you use your 3D connection mouse, you will be able to travel smoothly across it. And I think this just makes sense, especially if you're into substance painting or maybe you're into sculpting while you're moving within your 3D viewport, you might want to also jump in here and also move around just to preview what you're dealing with. And instead of switching to the mouse and, you know, switching to the pen, this just simply makes sense because in this case, you now have lots of things that you can manipulate and get things going with. Another thing which I think I need to mention is importing is now even faster. So if you're importing stuff is even way faster than what you had previously. And again, you can choose to also export stuff out. So for example, if we like to export this entire group, we can right click, go all the way down to where we have save, go to export, and we can choose to export this as seen, all images selected as seen, all the selected images in here. And something else which looks pretty cool, especially if you have multiple display, is the slideshow. So for the slideshow, if you hit Alt and S on your keyboard, it starts playing a slideshow. Now I have no idea why you might want that, but probably you just want to be inspired over and over. You can just have this entire slideshow of every single thing that you've got in your reference library to just simply play back. It's also got a cog here where you can change the time interval and how you like the controls to work. If you like to randomize that as well, you can simply go ahead and randomize it and get things going for you. There's also additional menus that you can deal with right now. And it is quite impressive to see all of these come over to Pure Rev. So for those who like to see this update and probably you like to check it out, then you can simply go over to another link in the description that's going to bring you right here where you can see the whole change logs that are now available in Pure Rev. They've also added the crop image, which is also something I believe a lot of you guys might also want to see. All of these things, additional tweaks, additional fixes are now available. And for those who want to get access to this huge database of impressive references. This is also going to be in the description so you can grab it. And one thing which I think I need to mention as well is if you go over to the big reference database and you go over to the animation section and double click, let's go all the way here. See some animated files. This comes with frame by frames and at the same time it comes with animated files which you can choose to preview. So say for example you would like to preview any of the ones that are now here and to all of these files there are frame by frame analysis to how the animations work. And this is also another tool that would guide you get things going really, really quick. So for those who like to get this one and probably you like to take a look at it, then hopefully this huge reference library is going to get you going. Of course, a huge shout out to Adzakua for making this one possible. Again, if you'd like to see a full video where we talked about all of this, you can simply take a look at the link in the description to see it for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.